Hi, I'm not the patient. I'm, uh, my, I'm the patient's wife. My husband had, has Parkinson's, and uh, just this past September, he had the DBS surgery. And if I may, I want to start backwards, uh, or at the end of the tale, actually, and just say that there is a very iconic photograph up on Facebook of my husband peeling potatoes. I have to say that, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't go with him uh, after the surgeries and on the day that he got programmed. And when I came home that night, he was hungry. And this is a man who could barely eat. He could not write checks anymore. I was harassing him to get shoes with Velcro because he could not tie his laces. I bought him a whole bunch of pants uh, with elastic bands because he couldn't zipper. We bought a lot of overhead shirts because he couldn't button. His quality, quality of life was so diminished. And to come home that night, and it sounds like such a simple thing that we all take for granted, and to come home that night and watch my husband at the counter with a potato peeler and peeling potatoes because he was hungry and he wanted mashed potatoes. That sounds like something we take for granted, but it was huge. Uh, <laughs> what the DBS did was, it was an immeasurable gift to my husband because what it did was it gave him back his dignity, it gave him back his autonomy. One of the first things he did was take the checkbook back from me <laughs> because uh, he did not like, we have separate checkbooks and he did not like the way I was doing his checks. Uh, he didn't like the way I was shaving him. He felt it was hazardous because one, one false move and, you know, he got it. So, I mean, now he shaves himself. He ties his shoelaces. He, he's got a more or less normal life. Uh, he's autonomous. I don't have, I, when I leave the house, I don't have to worry that he could, he's going to starve. Because prior to the surgery, I not only had to make the plate, but I had to put the plate in the microwave. He could make a sandwich. Uh, there's another iconic photo up on Facebook of a turkey, the turkey that he made for Thanksgiving. So these were all things that he couldn't do, and now I could just leave the house and not worry about him. And uh, it's a tremendous gift. And as my older daughter said, go science, you know. And I have to say, for those of you who are considering it, uh, from the family member's point of view or the prime caregiver's point of view, Dr. Coppell's staff and the nursing staff here are absolutely unparalleled. Uh, there was not one complaint, nobody I had to uh, speak negatively, negatively of. Dr. Capel's assistant, Elanita, is, has the bedside manner of 100 <coughs> saints, and she's yes. probably gonna be your point person. Uh, his assistant, Lisa, she, I call her the general. If you get off track, she will get you back on again with velvet <laughs> gloves. And uh, I mean, th there's really not much I, more I could say about this, you know. It, it gave us a life back. But more importantly, it gave my husband his quality of life back. Oh.